Hi there guys, how's it going? This is Matt Desimato right here. Cheers for tuning in and welcome back to some more City Skylines. We're playing here with Chemiston, uh, which is on the um, Arid Plains map. And apologies to all the uh, maybe chemists out there, all the purists. Uh, I completely goofed up my um, periodic table straight away. Uh, number three is not barium. It's not even boron. It's lithium. Of course it's lithium. Uh, I was really stupid. Um, Boron is actually number five, and I can't remember barium, but yeah. Um, can't believe I said that. I, I went through it, and I had a look uh, when I was naming these, and I, I sort of, um, when I was watching the last episode over to make sure it was okay, um, I was like, oh my god, no, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, element three is lithium. Um, so, yeah, apologies for that, but uh, hey, hey. So we'll have to do, this is probably going to be the lithium uh, lithium area. I don't know, lithium, I don't, know, I don't even know what to call it, but yeah, it's got to be something to do with lithium. Um, we'll work our way through the periodic table. That sounds good. Um, I'm actually kind of enjoying that. Or we could maybe name the wind park. Uh, that's another thing we could do. And then the river. We need to name the river, maybe. Um, that could be good. <laughs> like, um, I know the river river, uh, river boron or something like that. That'd be, that'd be really weird. Or some, uh, I don't know, like, uh, I'm trying to think of a chemical like zinc. That's, uh, zinc powder. Um, dangerous when wet. Um, that'd be fun. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do that. Um, That'll be, that'll be interesting. Anyway, um, I think we probably want to extend uh, extend over there. I think we definitely want to do that. Let's go ahead and uh, give ourselves some insurance on the power, though. Uh, so we'll build up a, another wind turbine here. We're still getting 14 megawatts here, which is great, considering the amount of turbines we've built in this area. 14 megawatts is the maximum, obviously, for the, uh, the super wind turbine off the workshop. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, that's, that's really, really handy, actually, that uh, we're getting that. I do want to build an avenue over there. I really do. Um, I really want to build an avenue there. That's that's really important. I want another roundabout. I want another junction to, to come in here. Although traffic's not that bad still, but I, I mean, we've still only got two access routes here. And I expect as the city grows, there might be more and more people who maybe go through here or, you know, if, if we maybe... Up upgrade this area with parks you know there are going to be a lot of people living in some of these uh, in some of these places uh how is the uh no what no uh why did i build a school you know i could just find out by using the tab couldn't i there it is all right um how are we doing 224 okay yeah so we still actually have quite good capacity on uh, elementary school here which is great um we've also got the clinic over this way uh nope nobody being treated that's good uh, that means everybody is in good health. So if I wanted to build an avenue across here, how much am I looking at? Bear in mind also we need to do this. How much are we uh, How much are we talking here? Actually, it's not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. Do we want to build a tram line? Do we want to build a bus route? I guess we could upgrade it later. Could be interesting to get a bus route running around here. Because um, this isn't particularly busy at the moment, so maybe a bus line running along there might be okay. I don't know. We'll have to work on it, because obviously having a bus route there, it does take a lane away. If we wanted to keep two lanes of regular traffic, then we'd have to build a three-lane one with a bus lane. So We don't need it at the moment, though, because we don't have any buses. But Definitely running a bus up and down here between these two is going to be really, really like worthwhile, for sure. Um, doesn't even have to go very far in the estate. Like you can just go round the one way here, and back out, and then around the avenue that's around here, across the top, down here maybe. Yeah, that's that's probably going to be fine. Obviously, it'd take a. We, it's just the money to set it up is uh, is just the thing. So the other question I need to ask myself is: Do I want this avenue to eventually go across the uh, across the river here? And I probably do. It's going to be a long road, this. Because this is a huge piece of flat slab here, which is really good. But also, there's a um, train track over this way, which I might want to come bring in here, have a couple of stations, and then join in with this one that runs along the uh, runs along the waterfront. In which case, the city centre point is likely to be north over here with this train. Like, bringing the tracks together, have a big, like, central station area. Um, that could be a thing. Obviously, we don't have trams unlocked yet. Uh, trains unlocked yet, sorry. But um, maybe maybe that's possibly going to be the thing. But uh, it's very hypothetical. So right, we have um, we have some money here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's build this. 
There we go. That. So I'm not going to do anything uh, separating like the. I'm not going to do anything like that. Um, this is just going to be all residential here. There's going to be no commercial around this area anyway because this is going to be the business part. Because what I want to do is I don't want to encourage too much traffic, but at the same time, there's, these roads aren't particularly busy. So if I can encourage some sort of traffic to come down here, then that would obviously justify a bus route running in through the retail park and around here, which means more people use the buses. So that, you know, I'm kind of almost generating traffic on purpose here at this top end uh, to help uh, to help out with some potential here for um, so people coming shopping, using the buses to come shopping. Uh, let's get these two in here. Not particularly making it dense, uh, this commercial area. I'm just, you know, building up in and around. I'm not trying to fill the whole area. If anything, we probably might want to put some trees in and around here. That could be a thing. Uh, make it look nice. And obviously, we will have the statue in the middle. Do I have access to... No, I was going to say, do I have access to any of the uh, the benefactors yet? But no. It's a high ticket price. What's this one? Right, okay, yeah. So if there's any particularly busy routes, then yeah, we can do that. School's out. Okay, yeah, so no, we don't want that as a city-wide policy. We might end up with, if we maybe want to create a really sort of low-value neighborhood or something uh, without much education, then we could uh, consider that. Right, the highway's starting to back up um, at this particular junction here, which is not good, which tells me we need to increase the size of the slip road. So let's let's have this come off a little bit sooner then. Right, doesn't need to be right. Like that's probably fine. And then we'll make it two lane. That will work actually. Okay. I think it's just to say that the uh the backup disappears, but it's moved. It's moved to a different place, so there we go. It doesn't have to be straight, I don't care about that. But uh yeah, just increase the size of that slip road. But then that backup clears as soon as we get them through here. So that's fine because they all start splitting off and going in different directions here. So, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's manageable at the moment. But, yeah, we'll definitely extend that just to be uh, to be on the safe side. Uh, it has, however, deleted the, um, the option that we had before because I did delete that piece of road. So let's, let's do that. Because, yeah, not as many people are going to go north here. Because I would hope that, yeah, I guess it's actually, it is actually the fastest way into this area at the moment. So people aren't going to use this one as much. Which is probably why that's not very busy. But then obviously the more maybe things happen over that way, the better. I don't know. I don't know how many people I want to bring in over here. If anything, probably not very many. Uh, I probably don't want too many people coming in down this, uh, this avenue here. Let's get some commercial in there. Uh, okay, we're still okay for power. I'm guessing maybe water is a bit, yeah, water's a bit thin on the ground now. So, let's go ahead and, oh yeah, the sewage is up there. Let's build a new intake there. I don't care about that. And then a new outlet pipe. So really, oh, hang on. There was a spot there, but. There it is. There you go. Um, that really does. That's completely unnecessary, but yeah, that's fine. There we go. Excellent. So that can obviously start dumping uh, stuff out there because I don't have the uh, I don't have part life or anything like that, uh, or the green cities. So I don't have the eco ones or anything like that. I don't have those DLCs. Um, but I'm not, that doesn't bother me at all. Really doesn't. Uh, we still have more commercial uh, interests, so let's fill in this bit here for now. That'll be okay. The other thing I was potentially thinking about was maybe inducing some pedestrian traffic here by allowing people to uh, to walk around. Yeah, there are a few people who are coming across in here like that. Kind of coming over here and coming here. So yeah, there are people doing it. So a bus route would definitely be justified. 
obviously can't afford the initial upfront cost at the moment, but uh, the bus route would certainly be justified uh, coming down here. Wouldn't be particularly long, but also I like numbering and naming the bus routes as well. That's another thing I do like to do. So we could also build this junction here, but I don't see the point at the moment. I really don't. So. I think I'll probably elevate the roundabout and have the highway running underneath. I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we just don't have the money for it at the moment. Okay. Things are going very nicely though. There's still more commercial demand. Still unemployment like 2%. Okay, so it's just people want to go shopping but it's only two percent unemployment so there's going to be very little room for people to uh you know there's nobody complaining about jobs at the moment in fact no there is there is over here now yeah not enough workers yeah okay so we're probably just at the point here where we don't really want to be building any more commercial or industry we need more residential but the demand doesn't really doesn't really reflect that at the moment it's really weird okay so what we should probably do then uh, let me quick pause here because I think that's going to destroy that. It is. Um, right. Let's get the power line. Um, actually, let's run it in here. For now. That's, that's going to last quite a while before I decide what to do with this space. Um, let's run this to here. Um... That road there is probably going to be unnecessary. Right, so the downside to that is I have to re destroy all of these. There we go. It's going to reset some of the uh, the residential demand because all of a sudden there's going to be lots of people out of a uh... yeah all of a sudden the demand's just gone sky high. Uh, but basically the north south road that was there was absolutely pointless because I'm just going to draw an avenue that runs across here. Really? What? It doesn't erase the same shit. So it's there. Straight. Right. So that's the level where we want to be at. There we go. Right, so let's make sure all of these are the same blasted level. There we go. I uh, That's what I was doing. I was lining it up to the wrong, wrong point. Okay. Right. So then we can do that, grab this, run this up here, yeah, I was confusing the line of the avenue, there we go, this is better, much better, okay, right, let's, uh, let's rebuild everybody's homes in there then, there we go, and obviously there, yeah, let's just make sure all that zoned in. Yeah, excellent. Right. So yeah, a whole lot of people just got kicked out of their houses. Um, sorry, but yeah, that's fine. We're not going to do an avenue on this side. That's going to be unnecessary. We don't need to. So I guess we could run a bus route around there now. If we built the depot, which we we need to obviously save up for, but um, and I suppose maybe I could run commercial along here. To keep up with that theme, but otherwise they're not going to build any more there. And this could be a, a residential area as well, I suppose, or it could make it into an office space later, a business park. 
I guess we could do that. Garbage problems, really? No, we're not really no any capacity there. But also, uh, what's the coverage? Yeah, it's very good. It's a very easy way around there. So, because you've got the one way facing that way. Okay, we have one or two businesses complaining about lack of people. But that probably was because I kicked a whole lot of people out there. So, makes sense, I suppose. Do we want to create any forestry or farming specializations? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't know whether we want to do that yet. That all requires uneducated people mostly, though. So it's, it's don't, I don't have the industries DLC either, so I'm not going to do any of that big specialization. Even though it does make you quite a lot of money. Uh, we can't yet pay that one off. That's okay. Budget. Yeah, most of our money is coming from uh, residential, which is normal. It's a lot of money from commercial, though. That really is. A little bit of level 2 commercial. Not a lot, but still, we have a little bit. Um, we actually have more level 2 residential than we do level 1, which is good. I haven't built any parks or anything like that in this area, so that's, that's the reason why. If I built a park in here, then the whole thing would just level up straight away. Um... But I'm not sure I want to do that just yet, because I don't have the uh, I don't have the um, statue set up in here, which I could actually do. Actually, we should probably do that. Uh, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, statue of shopping. There we go. Yeah, that levels a lot of that up there. So, all of a sudden, a lot of this is going to be very, very valuable. Yeah, so it needed more educated workers. Excellent. Okay. We'll put in one more park. Sorry, plaza. Um, there. Yeah, so most of that's going to level up now. Huge residential demand. Sure. Wow, that's huge. I don't know how big I want to make this uh, this estate here. Yeah, um, do I want? I think I want to continue running this avenue this way. I think that's something I definitely want to do. I want to also connect this up there. The avenue is just a, a traffic relief sort of system here. Yeah, huge residential demand. Okay. So then, we need to fill all that in. Whole lot. Right, doesn't have water though. Uh, and that might be a problem because I don't think we're going to be able to afford to complete this. Oh no, we can. If, I, if I'm... There we go, a little bit sneaky about it. Then yeah. Okay, so more housing coming in here, which is good. Um, we're probably going to need more educated citizens then, I'm guessing. Yeah, need another school. Okay. So if we look at land value, yeah, this is starting to get a little bit good here. So, uh, yeah, it's dark blue, uh, which is sort of medium. We haven't got any greens yet, I don't think. No, we haven't got any greens yet, but yeah. Um, we'll eventually get some dark blue in there, maybe get a little bit of green, that'd be quite nice. But this isn't too, too good. And obviously that ends up creating a problem, because you have rich commercial places with, you know, high level, so it means that they're going to be selling quite a lot of stuff. And then, obviously, low people here, um, that can't really afford a lot. And so, yeah, it's not, yeah, so that might create a bit of a problem. Now that we've leveled up the command, I reckon we might be able to chuck in a park or two in here. Like a proper one. Just the one is probably going to be enough. Or do we go maybe two? Let's get a park in there. This is quite cheap to maintain, isn't it? Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, that's going to be uh, more than enough, I think. 
to upgrade a lot of this. Yeah, so a lot of this is going to upgrade now. I think. Actually, if I made that one, yeah, I tell you what, let's make that into a park as well. So then eventually the cemetery will go and I can make that into like four four way park. Yeah. So all of a sudden this is all rather good. So yeah, we're gonna have lots of leveling up going on here, which is nice. So we can get more people in. And a lot of them are then gonna be eligible to go to school. There we go. So we've had a huge jump there, like more than a hundred uh in a jump of eligible people for um elementary school. Which is obviously the type of education we want for these commercial places here. So, although, actually no, some of them are still educated, really. They haven't upgraded yet. Uh, that's probably because there's a lack of services down here. So, probably, yeah, fire coverage is one. Police is okay, yeah, fire coverage is probably the one. So I reckon if we put a fire station in there, a lot of this is upgrade. Or if we maybe gave it its own fire station, just put a fire station in there. Would probably be the difference. I'm imagining anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the demand. And we'll end the episode right here. That's it for now. Cheers for watching, guys. This has been with Submit Tomato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series and join me next time for more City Skylines and I'll play through with Chemiston.